human rating of the entire propulsion system and other systems are 95% completed. Something around 7,200 tests are completed. Hot tests, cold flow tests, structural tests, acoustic tests, environmental tests, elect electron isolated aspect, 7,200 tests we have successfully completed. There are five propulsion modules. There is a solid motor, two solid motor, there is a liquid stage, L1 turn stage, there is a cryogenic propulsion system. There is a system taking the people from 170 kilometer to 400 kilometer, and another propulsion system for bringing them from 400 to 170 kilometer down. All the propulsion systems, and in the crew escape system, the Vikram Sarabhai says, Space Center along with Sri Rikota has developed the fast burning solid propulsion system. Everything is successfully tested, qualified. And IASU has developed a biometra, a half humanoid for sending in the first mission. That is also undergoing all the final phase of test, maybe a couple of days test has to be done, then they will deliver the system. And Badmukumar, probably later on you can talk to him. Coming to the accomplishments, we have built a new rocket called test vehicle because the crew escape system what will happen is when the flight is going at different phases, anything happens, you have to save them. So simulating that condition, we have to do. So a separate explosive liquid-based vehicle was developed, and we have carried out an important experiment, and some more experiment has to be carried out. Now for demonstrating parachute at deployment, we are developing a vehicle called SOL. This vehicle is a solid propellant-based vehicle and vehicle design is completed, within one month vehicle will be ready, and we are going to do a couple of tests. And environmental control and safety system, we have to maintain cabin pressure within 98 to 116 kPa, humidity 60 to 70 percent, temperature 23 plus minus 3 degree, and personal hygienic management has to be maintained. And it's a very complex development for the first time we have under, undergone, undertaken this development. I want to say 90 percent development is completed. We are in the final phase of qualification. Orbital module, it is a pressurized cabin. There are two modules. There is a service module and uh, a crew module. This is a very new development. Hardware realization is a very complex process. I think our team has done outstanding work. Couple of photos are shown there, and we are in the final phase of qualification. There are human-centric products, like flight suit, space suit, crew seat, and I have put very few things. Lot more are there. Everything is in the advanced stage of development. And you know, to accomplish this type of new mission, we have to build a lot of new infrastructure. You can see there is an orbit module preparation facility. You will get the opportunity to see in the Sri Kota in the appropriate time. Launch pad interfaces, crew evacuation system, and Gaganyan control center. Because when they are in the orbit 24 by 7, we have to handle, and the control system has to be, control center has to handle. That development is almost in the final phase of completion. And we have selected four Gaganyatris. Basically, they are test pilots from Indian Air Force. They were selected. The selection process itself, itself is a, I think, honorable prime minister is the best person who can appreciate this. Because he is by profession a doctor. So, so many tests they have undergone. They are selected. And they have been put through the required training, both in abroad and India. And they are undergoing the final phase of training. And honorable prime minister Modi ji announced them on February 27, 2024. I think their names are written there. Coming to the Gaganyan mission, we have to accomplish three uncrewed missions before targeting the actual crewed mission. Because here the life is involved, that's why we have put three uncrewed mission. In the expendable launch vehicle, rather, we go directly for the first flight itself. And then followed by, after three uncrewed mission, in the first uncrewed mission, the Vayamitra will fly instead of human being, and followed by the two crewed missions that is targeted. Now, first uncrewed mission is targeted the last quarter of this year, and the first crewed mission is targeted first quarter of 2027. Coming to the status of the first uncrewed mission, in fact, I want to tell last five years, thousands of people throughout the country has worked for this program. And I have put in two slides. Very difficult to communicate, but what you are seeing is a work of 10,000 people for four to five years in one or two, so one slide rather, two slides, only one slide, it is written. All propulsive stages are ready today. Stacking of the solid propulsion system is happening in Sri Hirikota. Directly you can, when you come, you will get the opportunity to see the stacking. 
all structures are qualified and crew module and service modules are realized. It is undergoing the final phase of integration and testing. Mechanical and electrical integration, 1,000 kilometers of OS have to be connected, connecting all the system. Everything is done and it is undergoing the final phase of testing. And right now the integration is in the final phase. Meticulous work is going on. Very systematic work is going on in all centers of ISRO. And we are targeting this launch the last quarter of 2025. Now coming to the Honorable Prime Minister, a visionary leader who has given the guideline for building the Bharat CA Andrik station. We will have our own space station by 2035. The first module government of India has given the approval. It is a five module construction and 52 ton mass. You know, with the current vehicles, we cannot take it in a single rocket. Nobody will take. Multiple modules it will be taken and it will be docked in space. And the first module will be in space by 2028. As a precursor mission, we have got approval for three missions. Honorable Minister was totally with us in guiding us, directing us to get these approvals. And first is a space docking to existing space station, ISS. We are going to have a space docking experiment. Then we will send the first module of this five module by 2028. Then we'll have an experiment with the first module. Once we succeed, we'll complete the go ahead, get the approval and complete the entire space station. And you know, for this, the docking is a very, very important thing because you place one module, second module, if it is not getting docked, you are into trouble. So towards that, I'm extremely happy to note that, inform this August audience that we have taken up a spacecraft docking experiment called Space Duck experiment. On 30th December, you all know you were with us under tense movement. We placed two SpaceX satellites along with 24 poem payloads in the orbit. And today I'm extremely happy to report that all the 24 PM payloads have perfectly worked and given the result. And these two satellites were rotating with a speed of 28,400 kilometer per hour in space. 28,400 kilometer per hour with relative velocity, of course, less and this has to be brought together and docked. You can imagine in Delhi road, assume two cars are traveling with 100 km per hour speed, and both have to soft way, you have to synchronized way, you have to dock. What type of difficulty probably you can visualize. Here, 28,400 km per hour spacecraft is rotating and using a set of hardware, software, cameras. I'm extremely happy to report that January 16, we successfully docked, and March 13th, we undocked and India became one among four countries demonstrating this important technology. Also, the second docking was done on, Mar on 20th April. Second docking was done like a child play. First docking, we took a lot of time. Second docking, like a child play, the team really executed. Probably later you can discuss with URO Satellite Center Director Sankaran. He was full time there along with the team. Of course, we were all there but he was full time there, you can talk to him. And the, I want to tell you one thing, we accounted 10 kg propellant for this purpose. Today with five kg of propellant, entire mission objective is completed and we are left out with five more kg and we are going to come do lot of experiment in the future. One important thing what we have done, originally what we didn't plan was a circumnavigation. One satellite is rotating, second satellite going around and monitoring. And this will be used for multiple purposes, including propellant transfer, including repair of one this one, and strategic application, this will be useful. This is successfully demonstrated. It's a really an outstanding work done by Indian team. Co current status of the SpaceX satellites, as I told, 50% propellant is left out. And we are meticulously planning a lot of experiments. Maybe another six months, we are going to do experiment and accumulate wealth of data. And Behind this success, you should know so much theoretical and experimental studies are done. In eyesight, Bangalore, there is an experimental setup, a simulation setup is made. I want to tell more than thousands of simulations we have carried out before doing actual attempt, and that has yielded outstanding results. And with that, I can say in simple term, the entire space, the SpaceX objectives met with 50% of the cost remaining is available, we will meticulously plan a lot of experiments. This docking experiment is going to be used for multiple places. 
you all know about chandrayaan 4 honorable minister very nicely explained in the parliament house and multiple places chandrayaan 3 is a soft landing the satellite was around 4000 kg here it is 9600 kg is the satellite we are going to lift to, through two of our vehicles and after taking we have to dock then it has to go to moon and something has to get undocked we have to land on the moon take sample come back it is a basically a sample return mission come back get docked and come basically there will be two undocking and three dockings are involved and for this whatever we have developed this crucial technology is a mandate requirement that is going to be useful building the space station when you are talking about five modules the docking and somebody going and getting docked and undocked i think this technology is going to yield results and of course honorable prime minister has also given a direction to study for taking man to moon and put them safely by 2040 and bring them back safely for that also this experiment is going to be useful thereby i want to summarize the spared up experiment is a grand successful experiment unfortunately we could not get all of you that is one of the reason you are all here today and i wanted honorable minister also along with us to celebrate and today we want to declare it is 100% perfect successful mission and we are having 50% propellant left over